another great song by the White Stripes. I fought piranhas. And I'm not going to say it, even though I want to say it so badly. I'll just think it because I say it too often. So anyway, moving on. Um, this is a pretty easy song to play. It does require two guitars to get the sound in the studio. Uh, one is open E tuning, which is this one right here. Johnny Walker plays it on the album and uh, he plays the slide and the slide is not terribly difficult. So if you're just learning slide or, or uh, still have a little bit of work to do on it, like me, uh, this is a pretty good song to practice on because you're really just focusing around 10 and 12 frets 10 and 12 and then a little bit down here on the third fret so boy you can learn a little bit of a box right there and uh, sound like you know what you're doing impress people so um open e tuning on the slide guitar the other guitar which is jack and you can tell it's jack when he's uh playing his solos it's uh just standard tuning so i'll show you both parts of the song if you were to choose between the two and you only have one guy on guitar and somebody on drums uh, you'd want to go with the open E tuning and you can kind of modify some of the uh, little riffs that Jack does one of the solos that he does you can modify it to where you can still play it on uh, your open E tuning guitar but hopefully you can have two guitars playing and make this sound really good and I love the lyrics I love the way he sings it love everything about it but that's all I'm gonna say about that so let's get started it's uh, pretty simple. You start on the 10th fret of the G and B, and you slide up from 10 to 12. And then you hit the B and E once you get there. And then you grab the G and B again and slide down. That is a third fret, second fret and then basically open on the E string. That's all through the song. So you'll do that and both guitars can do that because that open E string is the same on both guitars. So And uh, so once he does that, you can either use your finger or the slide and you're on the third fret of the B and E. So let's start from the beginning. Back to that little three, two, one on the E. It does that between every little riff. drums like what Meg does in there and you have somebody else there just kind of keeping that bass line going all of a sudden you sound like a band that knows what you're doing and by the way you know that's what's nice about the slide just like when you're playing a string you can give it a little bit of wobble you know you can stretch it up and down a little vibrato you can hammer on that sort of thing well with a slide hear that so so give it a little bit of personality as you're doing that not too much but just very subtly add the that movement in there and then it goes to uh time instead of just those single notes you'll you'll bar the third fret second fret open so that's going to be a, a G chord an F sharp and then an E chord hits that E chord three times and then it goes Okay, so that's in the exact same area, nothing new, just maybe a little bit different uh, rhythm to it or melody to it. So instead of just on the from 10 to 12 and back down to the 10, you're going to go. Now I'll say 
say, as I've said before, and it's especially true in this song, you do not have to get every little note and intonation exactly right. That's what's, you know, wonderful about the blues. It's more expressive than it is. How did I play that last time? So um, I would bet money Jack has never played this song the same way that it was recorded, which is, you know, I mean, we love the recording. We'd like to hear him do that. I would, but he's going to get up there and play the blues, right? If he's doing this song. So do the same thing. Know where the little box is here and, and don't worry about making it sound exactly right. I know some might disagree with that and they want it to sound exactly like the studio. More power to you. I hope you can do it. But in the meantime, the rest of us, let's just play some music. Learn the, uh, learn the rhythm, learn the melody, learn where to be, when, and so forth and you'll enjoy your playing a little bit more. You'll be probably less frustrated too. So uh, 10 to 12, and you're on the G, B, and E strings. You almost can't go wrong there. And, um, and then that's almost it for the slide part because it's all pretty much duplicated after that. There is one part after... Well, maybe the second set of lyrics. I'm not exactly sure when it is, but he uh, goes... <laughs> Let me get it right. I might have to listen to it one time real quick. Okay, so I listened to it, and it's after... Um, so the way the way the song is kind of laid out is the first set of lyrics, and then it goes to a Johnny Walker solo, followed by a Jack White solo. And then the second set of lyrics is a Jack White solo, followed by a Johnny Walker solo, okay? And so the second Johnny Walker solo is in that same little box. In fact, there's only one new note in the whole solo, and that is on the D string, which we now have tuned to an E, if you have this tuned to open E tuning. Uh, and it's on the 12th fret, so you probably know what note that is. That's an E note. So he just does something like... <laughs> So I'm just going up on the G string from 10 to 12, and then I'm catching the E string on the 12, B string on the 12, catching that 10 again on the G, and then I resolve it on that D string 12th fret, which we now have tuned to an E, so it's an E note. The song is in E, so obviously you can always, you know, here's your E, and there's an E got three strings that are tuned to the E note so uh, anytime you want to resolve it on any one of those notes it'll sound just fine now when uh, the one guitar will call it you know when Jack's doing his solo the other guys just keeping that the first set of lyrics there is some slide going on after that it's it's basically just that during each set of lyrics and uh, both guitars can do the There's just one more thing at the very end of the song during the last set of it does that I think four times uh, Johnny is just going uh, up the fretboard to where after the fourth time he's right at the 12th fret and then so I was just hitting the B and the E string with the slide on there you can use your fingers or your pick open E so you just hit the strings open and then the last little thing is again from just something like what we did before and again you can listen to it and maybe he hits the G before the B or the E after the D or whatever you know that's just just to hear that song hear the music hear the the personality of it and then emulate that in fact here's a quick suggestion for you if you are learning this uh, if you are learning the slide, have somebody or put
put it on a looper or record it on your phone or whatever and then just play over it on this in that little box 10 to 12 and hitting those strings and listen to it what sounds good add your own little personality to it this is a good song to maybe expand a little bit and make it your own make your solos sound like you a little bit while still playing that song but hey that's just my two cents i'm not even getting paid for this all right let's go to the uh uh jack's guitar which is the uh standard tuning okay let me switch guitars <laughs> Okay, back to uh, uh, Jack's part, and um, he just keeps that rhythm going. Well, it starts out, the very first time you hear him is when he goes, he kind of uh, bends and it sustains that third fret of the E string, which is a G note, and uh, hits the open string, and then the next thing he does is... Something like that, and again, that's kind of the same time that Johnny's doing the slide, so it just kind of blends in. A couple different ways you can play that. I'm sliding up from the 5th to the 7th fret on the E string, and you can hit the 8th fret of the B string, which is the same note as the 3rd fret of the E string. So you can go wherever you're most comfortable, and then resolve it on the 5th fret of the B string, which is the same thing as the open note of the E string. But uh, resolving it there helps you to control that note a little bit better. And you can wiggle it a little. So. And then during the first set of lyrics, Johnny's still doing the... Uh, uh, the slide up here and every other time he's going and then it goes to so you, since you're not open E tuning you have to hit those actual chords so a G chord which is 3rd fret of the E 5th fret of the A and then drop down 1 fret to uh, an E chord, which is uh, open E, and then your index finger, or any of your fingers, really, on the second fret of the A string. And you can go into that whole chord if you want to, making an E major chord, which you should know what that is. If you don't, uh, there's a place called the internet. You can look it up and find it. And then uh, Johnny does his little solo, and then it goes to Jack's solo, which I just started with on this uh, section. And you're going to go up to the uh, G string, 12th fret. So I'm only on uh, three frets right there. The G12, the G14, and the D14. So, kind of slide up and land on that 12th fret of the G. Bend the 14 of the G. Back to the 12, back to the 14, still on, only on one string. And that's where I go to the D14. And back to the G. 12 and then you kind of slide it into oblivion so then you're going to slide up to the 14 on the d again and then you go from that 14 on the uh, D to the 12 on the G to the 14 on the G Which you bend a couple of times and Then you go down to your open B and E string open B to the third fret of the B 
open E to the third fret of the E. And then open E. So just five notes there. Okay, so the last portion of this solo starts with your middle finger on the third fret of the G string and your index finger on the second fret of the B string. Okay, and you're just gonna hit that G string, third fret, and you're gonna slide up to the fourth fret. And then of course your index finger will join you in the slide, go up to the third fret of the B string, and you'll hit that third fret of the B string. And then the second time you do it, because you do it twice in a row, you actually do it three times in a row, the second time you do it, you exactly the same only instead of stopping on the B3 you'll hit the B3 and then go to the G4 and you'll do the same thing but instead of stopping on the G4 you'll you'll roll down from G4 to G2 to open and then to I'll have to wait and see yeah, you'll you'll go to open and then back to G two, back to open on the G, and you resolve it on the uh, D string second fret, which is guess what an E note. So it's ending in the key of the song, which is E. <laughs> So I hope you got that. I'll do the whole little solo. Okay, next is... That was Jack's first solo and his second solo. Uh, is a little bit more erratic and so I'll listen to it again real quick and then uh, show you what I think okay so after the he does this so I'm on the uh, and I'm I'm doing a couple of strings at the same time it gives it the uh, the noise that I, I hear in that solo so I'm hitting the B string fifth fret and the E string open and so that's just the same note twice and then I drop down to the third fret of the B string but I'm still hitting the open E string and you can choose to do that or hit a little bit more singular notes whichever you're more comfortable with I think this just replicates the sound a little bit better so fifth fret of the B open E third fret of the B open E back to the fifth fret fourth fret of the G string B3 open E a couple of times his favorite little place to, to play and that is the G string fourth second open and then resolves on the G string second and kind of bends it and then the second one is uh, I'll have to listen to it one more time okay so this one <laughs> I'll really stand by my suggestion here where I say it doesn't have to be exactly right because it's very hard to get that exactly right and again I will say if Jack were playing it I don't think he'd worry about it being exactly right oh let's see no I hit the B string third fret three times and the E string third fret twice and and you only hit it once he wouldn't do that if you told him you learned it hey Jack I learned that guitar solo note for note it sounds exactly right he'd probably say what why did you do that why why would you do that <laughs> so let's just learn it close and play it okay so yeah, so I, I play just something like this. So 
So, uh, what I'm just doing is basically hitting the open E and B string along with uh, back and forth on the third fret. So we were just kind of playing in that area during the last uh, part of this solo. <laughs> You can hit both strings at the same time, you can hit just one string. And if you want to linger on that E string uh, before you go to that, that same bending note on the uh, G string second fret. So that is probably the toughest part of this song. The rest of it is really pretty easy. Uh, that's the toughest part to make it sound exactly the same, but you've heard what I said about that Just start slow. I don't know if you have that I've suggested on other videos to get the uh, uh, Slow Rider by uh, Marty Schwartz. It's only at least as far as I know it's only available on Apple and I keep an old Apple phone and I, I phone so I can <laughs> I use it just for that app and you can slow a song down listen to the notes slowly it doesn't distort it too much even though it slows it down and uh, you can play along with it and try to get it a little bit closer but again I say get it close not exact and you'll enjoy it more hey, that one was pretty good all right let's go to the last part I'm sliding up on the G string from two to four B3 to 5. And then once you get to the E string, you stay there until the end. And you go bend up the 5th. And then the 5th unbent. And then back to the 3 on the E. Or not back to, but to the 3 on the E. So that part's pretty easy. Slide up on the G from two to four, and then three to five on the B. Bend up the five on the E. I wonder what strings I have on here. I thought I had nines, but these are not bending like nines. I'm not going to say it over and out for my easy chair.